Okay, I'm gonna show you how you can use the OnCourse Classroom Assignment Assessment feature to do a quick exit ticket on your student for your students. This might be where you previously used a Google Form, but we're going to use OnCourse Classroom because it's going to automatically send that grade straight to the gradebook. So we're gonna go into Classroom, and the first one that I'm going to work on is Math. So I'm gonna click on my Math class and go to Assignments. And I'm going to create a new assignment. And we're going to use this as an exit ticket. And I'm going to call this exit ticket, multiple choice. So this is going to be a exit ticket that's going to auto grade and send it straight to the grade book so that you can view what the students are doing, formatively assess them, but not take up too much of your time. Now, this is something that's going to be auto graded. So these, let me change this to auto graded. And then I'm going to show you in another video how you can do an exit ticket that's open-ended that will allow you to give feedback to your students. There's a place for each one of these, so I'm hoping that you find these useful. So right now we're going to go into auto graded, and this is for math. I'm going to do this to everyone, but you may have a separate modified one for your modified group. And I'm going to mark submissions late. I have it as a due date allow students to view the returned assessment and we'll talk about that in a little bit and i'm going to use a scoring because i wanted to go actually into the grade book as a grade so i wanted to go into marking period one i say quarter one but i'm in the test site right now and we're going to put this in as a formative you can do this as a non-calculated assignment if you wanted to um if definitely if you're using the check mark to score you want to use um non-calculated but we're going to do it as a formative that's going to go straight into the grade book so basically what the student instructions are, and you're gonna have multiple things. So let's say it is view Google slide show. And this could be where the notes are. And then the next, maybe we'll wanna number this. Maybe we do, I don't know why the number feature isn't here, but we'll make it ourselves. And then step two is going to be complete the, the, worksheet using Cami, and this is going to be complete the assessment which is our exit ticket okay so the first thing i want to do is put up my google slideshow for notes I'm just going to link any slides that I have because I don't have specific like ones for math in this one. So we're just going to go ahead and put these slides in here. And we want to make sure all recipients have view access. Now you also want to make sure that your Google slide presentation is set to anyone in discovery can view because it won't work even if you have that. Now this, I want them to have interactive slides. It's going to make a copy for each student. But if you just want it as a resource, you could switch it to just resource only. So in this one, I just want it as a resource. They don't have to do anything on the slides per se. They're actually going to be taking notes from the slides or keeping those as notes. And then we're gonna have a worksheet using Cami. So I'm gonna to go to my computer and I'm gonna upload the worksheet. And I'm just gonna find a worksheet that's actually not math. And I want this to be Cami workflow because I want them to be able to type on the slides. So this is where they're going to do their, you know, guided practice stuff here. So I want to be able to see how they're working it out. I want to be able to see how they're doing these problems. And then we're going to create an assessment or exit ticket. So they've done the work. We're going to have them do the worksheet where I can see the feedback if I need to. And then we're going to have this checkout. So the checkout is going to allow it to go straight to the grade book. So we're going to click on the assessment tab. And we're going to add an item. So we want this to be, um, I tend to in my exit tickets have about four questions. Um, I generally do multiple choice. You could do a combination of multiple choice and free response, which is always okay. If you do include any free response, it's not going to auto grade. So in this particular one, I'm doing things that can be auto graded. So um, things that I want you to keep in mind is that it is going to auto grade, but because we added, let me go back, not this, because we added these other things here, 
it is not going to auto grade until you tell it to because it's assuming that you also need to grade this and this. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, but there is a way to have it auto grade that particular assessment so that you can send it back to the students. Keep in mind, they won't see any feedback until you return and we'll sh I'll show you that what it looks like in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our assessment and they have all these commonly used. So I'm gonna use this multiple choice and I want the question to be, and I'm making this pretty simple because um, I'm doing it for any level and just cause I'm trying to do it for sake of time. Um, what is, and then we're going to utilize my math and we're going to say this. So we wanna know what one half and then plus, nope, not there. Guide with me, wait. And then we want to go up here and say plus two equals, okay. And you may have an X or you may have a question mark. Some kids are not familiar with the X and question mark right now. So we're gonna go ahead and add this and we're gonna say, okay. And basically it's gonna have this, what is one half plus two? And your options here are going to be, we're gonna say two, we're going to go back in here and we're gonna use our one half. And then we're going to click okay. And then in this one, we're going to say one. And then this one, we're going to say one and nope. Okay, so we're gonna try again. We're gonna be one and one half. Okay, so we put our question in with our possible answers. So in this particular problem, these are our, our option choices, one half plus two. And so we are going to, um, we're gonna make sure that there's an answer here that is actually correct. So we're gonna go back in and fix it because that's my life today. And we're going to click OK. So you have your op answer options here. You can drag these in between if you want to move them around, whatever you need to do. And then at the bottom, we're going to say which one is the one that's correct. Now, you could have multi-select. You could have alternative answers. That's all behind this plus sign. I'm just sticking with plain old one answer. If you had multi-checks, it would be multiple responses. So this is all good. This is my question. I'm going to click Save. It's going to shove this question over here. And we're gonna add another one. And we're gonna do another multiple choice and we're going to say, um, what is, back to my, I'm knee deep in fractions because that's what my kid did all day. So what is three fourths? And then we're gonna click on the outside minus one, nope, one click four. Okay, so we have what is three fourths minus one fourth. So we have our options. We have three fourths as an option. Okay, we have we have one fourths. Okay, and then this one we're going to have one half, okay, and in this one we're going to say one, one, two, fourths. Now, because I know this is a simplified problem, I want to make sure that I go up the top and I'm going to continue with this right here. And behind this, I'm going to type in a question mark. Why won't it let me type in the, the word, the things here? Be sure to simplify. You click OK. 
So I have my next question here. It should be able to write, be sure to simplify after, but it's not taking any of my lovely edits. I'll work on that after. And then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna choose my correct answer, and I'm gonna click save. Okay, so this is two, pretend like I had four, um, and we have our two questions. I'm gonna save and publish my assignment. It's our exit ticket auto graded. So from the student side, I'm gonna go in as a student and complete this for you guys. And I want you to see how easily it goes straight into the grade book. So I'm gonna to go to my math class. I'm gonna click on my exit ticket auto graded. And notice, obviously you would name this asynchronous work whatever day. These are my other things that I need to do. So I'm gonna click on my reading activity and it's really not reading, it's math, pretend. And the kids have done all their work on here and they've closed it. And then now we have our assessment and it's gonna open up. And we're gonna click start. And we wanna know what one half plus two is. So we're gonna choose that answer. And I'm gonna go down to the next one. What is three fourths minus one fourth, which is one half. And I'm going to review and I'm going to finish. And then it says all questions have been attempted. Yes, clues. I already see an error with my thing, but we're just gonna move forward. All right, so I'm gonna go back into my classroom. I'm gonna click on and refresh my page to my exit ticket. Here it has submission, one submission, 100 auto graded. So if I needed to give feedback to a student, but say they particularly failed, I could go in here and I could see what the options are. And I have no idea because I definitely did not mean to put two into one problem continuously, but it's really fine because they're all fractions. So it automatically gave it as 100. I'm good, I'm checking. If I needed to add any feedback, I could click here and type to the student. Um, especially here for the add feedback, make sure you simplify. And then I'm gonna click X. Now I'm gonna go into my grade book. And if I go into my grade book for math, you'll be able to see that this exit ticket auto graded here is listed as 100 for the student. So it's automatically going in. So it's, in my opinion, much better than Google Forms. Um, the students are able to submit, but if they don't finish it in, in one sitting, they can finish it later, unlike a Google Form that has to be done all the time. So I hope this is a good overview for you guys on how to give an exit ticket using multiple choice or something that's going to be auto graded. This could work for anything. Um, I can give specific examples for ELA and specific examples for, um, for reading. I use math in this instance because there's going to be obviously one choice, but I will be doing some other options um, in, in future videos. And I'm going to do a separate video on how to do an exit ticket that has feedback that you need to review or open-ended questions. I hope these, got, these videos help you guys um, understand the way that you can use these tools to help you be able to formatively assess your students and know what they know.